Well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, this is uh, part 12 of our job costing video series. Uh, this is for QuickBooks Desktop and uh, it's brought to you by newquickbooks.com. That's our website. Uh, so this uh, video I'm going to focus on entering reimbursable expense back to customers. Uh, and it's all uh, job related and you want to track it. Uh, reimbursable expenses normally, you know, uh, you want to have any uh, markup or maybe a little markup. Uh, but there's not, there's not much profit involved, but still have to track it. So anyway, uh, uh, if you uh, may also want to check out... Uh, uh, all our videos uh, from our website. I'm going to show you our website in here. So here's our website. It's at newquickbooks.com forward slash job dot costing. And uh, you may want to check out uh, all 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 other videos. Uh, as I said, this one is uh, uh, number twelve, entering reimbursable expenses back to customers. All right. So I'm going to go to QuickBooks Desktop. So this is a sample file. All right. So reimbursable expenses could be for anything. Let's say uh, uh, it's for travel expense, and uh, your client's gonna uh, reimburse you uh, for travel expenses. Okay. So uh, normally, you know, if it's a travel expenses, it could be you may be using a credit card or just writing a check or whatever. So for this example, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to use credit card. So let's click the enter credit card. All right. So it's basic, you know, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with how to enter a uh, credit card. Uh, so let's say the uh, uh, airlines is, let's say American Airlines. Okay. So this part is fairly easy. And in here, as you can see here, expenses and item. So if it's all job related and you want to track, uh, job and buy items so you may, want, you, you may want to use items tab in here so this is your base body uh, if you want to track your uh, uh, job related expenses okay so in here uh, I have already set up as a travel all right so travel and it basically gives you uh, you know how much it's going to cost uh, the cost could be zero you can you don't have to set up uh, anything I'm going to show you how this one is set up So it's a travel, so it's set up this way. So if type is other charts and item name you can name any way you want it. It's a depends on what type of reimbursed expenses you are billing your customer. So in this case I'm just uh, I'm just uh, assuming it's a travel one. Okay, and then you, you know its cost could be just a zero. You can just leave it blank because you know you never know how much it's gonna cost. And expense account, you have to select that from the chart of accounts. In this case, I have a travel cost, uh, and uh, it's a part of cost of goods sold. So normally in job cost, anything related uh, to job, directly related to job, you may want to set up as a cost of goods sold, cost of sales type, and so it could be travel. And so you have to you have to watch all the other videos how to set up all the. Uh, uh, you know, a chart of accounts set up and item set up, everything. So, in this case, I have a travel cost as a direct cost. Okay, and the income account, uh, you just set up, pick one. In this case, I have this one income account for all construction related income. Okay, so in this case, you know, the travel cost could be $200 and you basically uh, pass it on to your, uh, your client for reimbursement. There's no markup or anything like that. So if there's a markup, then you have to build uh, with markup, of course. So in this case, I'm just going to use $200. Okay, so now the next one is uh, uh, customer job. All right, you have to select a customer job in here. So here is your job, house, new construction, and the, the customer client is uh, Campbell header. All right, so select that one. And now this one is billable, so you have to bill it back to your customers, and you have to create invoice. So you have to select the billable, right? And I also have a class tracking here. This is pretty um, important in job tracking. And in this case, uh, so it's other job cost, you know, other job cost. 
Uh, this is how it's set up for this example. So yours could be different. So select other job costs. Okay, so this is it. And on the memo, you may want to write down uh, something like uh, what's job related. You know, say this is from San Diego uh, to San Jose. Like this. And I'll say this one is the MasterCard. Like this. Oops. Okay, so it's basically, you know, this part, your top part is a vendor and memo this is for the internal stuff because you know you don't need to print this anything but it will it will show you know job related what job whatever job you went this for the other details stuff for your internal purpose and so it's item cost customer job billable and class so that's all you need so i'm going to save this save and close okay so if you look at the reports now let's Report is the one. So this, so this is how expense data uh, flow works in job uh, costing reports. So you have entered that cost, and now I want to look at it uh, how the expense will uh, uh, you know, data flow works. Okay, so I have a couple of uh, memorized reports in here for job costing in here. So the first one, let's say this is the uh, uh, purchases by vendor. So vendor is American Airlines in this case. As you can see here, so it will show you, you know, uh, American Airlines as your vendor. So this is purchase by vendor summary. And it basically gives you the, the detail of how we enter the credit card charges. Okay. And uh, so the next one I have is, uh, let's see here, job cost class report. Okay. So the class report is in here, the other job cost. So you have a material cost. So it's, this is how it's set up on this one. Uh, type job type uh, class type I mean uh, so other job cost rates you will see all the uh, other job costs are in here in this case two hundred dollars okay so this is by class here you won't it's not sorted by uh, customer or vendor you can do it too so you can sort it different ways in here uh, but this one is basically it's the uh, class sorted here okay and the next one So profit and loss by uh, job, okay, so it's, it will give you the profit and loss by job right away in here. This is in uh, PNL format, profit and loss format. As you can see here, travel cost is already here, and uh, is the job, house new construction, and Campbell header. So just remember this one. This is a pretty important uh, report. Profit and loss by job. All right, and item profitability. Okay, so the item is the one, as you can see here, here's, here's the uh, two hundred dollars uh, actual cost. Okay, you haven't billed that yet. Once you bill it, you'll see the revenue in here too. Okay, so it's basically the format wise, it comes directly from your item list. See the service in here. So whatever you see, and when you enter expenses by items, you will see, you'll see it in here. So this report in here. Okay, and let's see here. I'm going to close this. So next one. So job profitability summary. This is like a summary by uh, some profit summary by uh, your customers and job. It's basically actual cost is lumped in here. It's part of this one thousand cost, two hundred dollars for travel reimbursement. If you just click it, you 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 saw it's right here, right? Okay, so there are a couple of other reports, but these are the reports, uh, you know, you want to focus on inter expenses, all kinds of expenses, you know, uh, and then, uh, so, you know, uh, then you, you, you have to run these reports and review it all the time. And uh, so it's basically entering uh, uh, billable expenses, you know, it could be, uh, uh, you know, it, it could be entering credit card, if you're writing checks, it's the same thing. You know, this is use item, right? And if you're entering bill, it's the same thing. Just use items tab. That's how it works. That's all that you can do, you know. So you have to use either credit card charges, write check, enter check, or enter bill. Those three. If you want items. 
okay so anyway uh let's see here okay so you have to focus on all these all these reports item profitability job cl cl class report job cost class report job profitability summary profit and loss by job purchases by vendor summary so i'll focus on these five there are other reports uh you can look at it later on you know in uh, everything in here right here uh okay so anyway uh thank you for watching and uh, so next videos i'm going to focus on uh the time sheet stuff so this is, has to do with the payroll now next one's going to be payroll so uh so you may want to check out uh, our websites. You want to bookmark this page, newcrypbooks.com forward slash job that costing. And uh, we also have a QBO blog for QuickBooks Online. So new quickqbo.com, new QBO.com. That's very, very popular for QuickBooks Online. And uh, anyway, so uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, to our YouTube channels. Uh, you know, we have two channels. The one you're watching is the BP Controller, youtube.com forward slash BP Controller. And for QuickBooks Online, it's youtube.com forward slash new QBO. New QBO. Thank you.